What's up you guys, Whippy Cake here, and today I'll be showing you this super easy pigtail tutorial. Yay! You've probably seen me wearing my hair like this on Instagram lately because it's so easy and I love it. It's a great way to make it through second Thursday hair. All right, so before you get started, there are just a few things that you're gonna need in order to get yourself some peppy little pigtails. The first is going to be a comb, self-explanatory, and then two ponytails, a clip, and some hair product to kind of help hold your pigtails in place. So I find when I'm doing the pigtails on myself that they last and turn out a lot better when my hair is just a few days dirty or if it's clean, I'll put in a little extra product, like a spray wax, before I even get started. You'll take your rat tail comb and then do your part wherever you want. I'm gonna do mine down the middle just because I like the way that that looks. Then you're just gonna section off the whole section that you want to put in your ponytail. So I usually do mine about where my natural cowlick is at the back of my head all the way behind my ear. And then you can just clip that out of the way so that you can do your other ponytail. Then just repeat that on the other side, but instead of clipping it, you're gonna start to twist it. So I'm gonna do my part. And I'm gonna actually comb it into where I want my ponytails. So I usually like mine right above my ears. I don't know why, I think it just looks more symmetrical that way. So now that I have my ponytail nice and smooth along my hairline, I'm actually gonna like, a lot of times I'll pull all my little baby hairs out because I have a lot, <laughs> I have a lot of baby hairs from when I had my last baby. So since I know that they're gonna fall down anyways, I will usually just pull them out. Then I'm just going to spray a tiny bit of spray wax so that my hair can stay nice and smooth and it will actually help hold the pigtail in place. So before I put the ponytail in, I twist it and you can twist it either way, it doesn't matter. And just make sure you're not getting anything extra into your twist and twist it really, really tight, like so tight that it makes you slur words. <laughs> And then once it's nice and twisted, it will just start to curl up on itself like that. So from here, I keep a tight grip on the tips of my hair so I can um, know where those ends are at all times. And then I use the ponytail to kind of peg those ends down and I just wrap it multiple times. Then you just repeat that on the second side. Voila! Then always, always, always finish off with just a little bit more product. As you can see, that was really easy. I hope you give it a try. If you do, take a picture and tag me so I can see how it turns out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. 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 Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more beauty and style videos or visit me at my blog at whippycake.com. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Good. Got it. Wait. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> That's going in the blooper rail. <laughs>